Welcome to this webcast. So the other day I was asked how do you hide a folder in SSRS or for that matter a report. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to start off with the SQL um, folder. And in the folder you notice that there's the count of SQL 2012 editions. We're going to hide this report. The simple way to do it is you click on the report, go properties, click on this hide in a list view, go apply, go back up to my SQL, a SQL folder, notice that the report's gone. I can also do the same thing with the folder. So while I'm at it, I'll hide the folder, go apply, go back up to here, and you'll notice that the SQL uh, folder is gone. Now that the uh, folder is gone, you're ultimately going to say, how do I get it back? So if I go on the show details, you notice that the SQL folder is here. And I just click on this folder, and again, you'll notice that the SQL 2012 is here. So I'm going to unhide each of these things, and it's just undoing what we just did. So you unclick this checkbox, go apply, go on the properties of this thing, apply, and I go up here, notice my SQL report folder is back. Notice my SQL uh, uh, report is back. The question you're going to ask is why would you do it? Well the answer is really quite simple. If you've got a lot of branches or divisions or regions that you want to have them have reports for, you can set up the security on them so they can't see everything but their individual report. But by hiding the, the, the folder itself, you're not ending up with a laundry list of uh, folders or reports for various people. So that's why you would do this. Please feel free to email me at techtalk at enhanceoff.com.